Here is the cut list. First, you're going to take the fusible fleece and adhere it to the back of one of the six and one eighth by one and seven eighth rectangles. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. Next, you're going to take the one and one quarter inch square of the Heat and Bond Ultra and adhere that to the back of the one and a half inch square of fabric. I'm going to embellish mine with a letter, but you could use a shape as well, whatever you want to embellish it with. Go ahead and cut out your shape. After you're done cutting it out, you will peel back the paper backing, and then it's time to move on to the next step. measure for placement. I am going to measure one and a half inches from the bottom of this piece and I'm going to place my initial upside down. Use my iron to adhere my initial and now we're going to make the flap. Fold this piece in half, open it up, and fold the edge to that mark we just made and give it a press and do the same thing on the other side. Once you have finished that, give the whole thing one final press and next we're going to take it to the machine and sew along either side here. Okay, we're gonna sew our little tab. I'm going to sew pretty close to the edge here on both sides of this tab. Now we're going to add the keychain, so slide that onto the tab, and then I am going to give mine a stitch to hold it in place. I find it's easier to work with if you do that. So I am going to just line up the ends here, and then give it some quick stitches to keep this in place. Now it's time to start assembling. You're going to take your backing piece and place that face up, align the edges of our tab with the keychain up at the top, and then we're going to place our next piece on top of that so right sides are together. And you wanna make sure your embellishment is at the opposite end of your keychain. Now we're going to put these together and do a one quarter inch seam allowance all the way around, leaving a one and a half inch opening to turn this right side out. I'm going to sew straight across here to keep the keychain in place before we move on to the next step. Next, we're going to leave a two inch opening here. We're gonna sew one quarter inch all the way around. Don't forget to backstitch when you start and stop to secure your stitches. So when we turn this right side out, the stitches don't come loose. I leave my needle in the down position, lift my presser foot and pivot to turn. And once I come back around to where the keychain is, I go over this a couple times backstitch to reinforce that. That will take the stress where the keychain is. Here's what it should look like with your opening. We're going to turn this right side out. Very gently work this so you have it all right side out. Use your fingers to poke out the corners. Going 
to fold in this opening that we left. I just tuck the ends in, give it a finger press. And our next step, we're going to bring the bottom where the initial is up towards the keychain. And I am leaving a half inch from the top. And then I'm just gonna sew side stitches down both sides and that will close that opening. top stitch here and I like to back stitch over the part here where this is folded this is the opening that the chapstick is gonna go in it will get the most stress from use so I like to just reinforce it with some back stitches do the same thing on the other side and once you're done sewing this side that's it your fabric chapstick keychain holder is complete. These come together really quickly. They make a great project for scraps or pre-cuts and I think they would make a great gift for anybody who uses chapstick. You could put it on your purse or your backpack. They're really handy to have.